I'm here with Chief of Staff Josh Jacobs. Josh, thanks for being on the show. Thanks. Glad to be here. Now, I know the Presidential Lecture Series just happened. For those who don't know what it is or have never been, talk a little bit about what it is and who all was there this year to talk. The Presidential Lecture is one of the great events uh, that we have on an annual basis. It highlights some of the uh, most important folks from around the world and even domestically. And in the past, we have focused on international guests, uh, with Benazir Bhutto having her last visit here uh, in the United States to uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. and uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And this year we had uh, the raging Cajun James Carville and his wife Mary Matlin here discussing uh, what is on all of our minds right now, the uh, presidential election coming up this fall and the current uh, Republican primary. Now with it being kind of close to elections and with having really big names like that, how was attendance this year different than in past years? Well, this year we got caught a little with the weather. Uh, we had that winter weather advisory, but all in all, I was very pleased. We had a little over 2,000 individuals uh, in Lovett Auditorium, which is getting close to capacity, uh, which was great. And we were so glad to have that many folks join us for that fantastic event. And why do you think this event is so important to our community? I think it provides us an opportunity to academically engage with content uh, in, a, in the outside of the classroom. I think it gives people in our community the opportunity to see what we do at Murray State, to engage with our students, uh, engage with celebrities, uh, and, and really talk about things that we need to be talking about as a community. And as an academic leader in the community, we need to be bringing that content uh, to both our students and our, in our community. And I think this presidential lecture does that in a unique way and gives everybody the opportunity. Now, I understand you had a big role in it this year. Talk about your role with the lecture series and, and how you got that job. This job is a, a component of what I do, and it's fantastic. I love it. We start day after the, the presidential lecture series the prior year. We start with a list of who we want to see, and that list gets more involved and in-depth every year of, of individuals that we'd like to see on Murray State's campus. And then we start whittling that down based on availability and of course cost comes into play there at some level. But uh, ultimately we come down with a list of 10 or so. We work that out with the student group, uh, Racer Live Productions in conjunction with the Student Government Association. And then uh, we ultimately present three of those choices to President Dunn who we sit down, the two of us, and discuss the pros and cons of each of those. Uh, and then we make an offer. And we hope that that offer is accepted and we go from there. Is this the first year that you've done this and been somewhat in charge? Or? I've done it every year. Okay. Uh, SGA has had a very large role in this over in the past. Um, but as it being the presidential lecture uh, and representing President Don, I, I take it on myself to make sure the event goes off without a hitch. And what about future plans? Any ideas for the next presidential lecture series? I've already got my eye on some people, uh, and I don't like to release that too early. But this year was the first year we had two folks on stage at a single time in a semi-debate structure. And I really liked that as a unique shift from what we've had in the past. In the past we've had a 40 minute lecture, 40 to 50 minute lecture by a single individual. But I thought the, the back and forth provided an interesting dynamic for our crowd and I'm going to be working on bringing that to campus more in the future. Well we appreciate everything you've done and we are so thankful that you were on our show this week. Thank you Sarah, it was a pleasure to be here.